All right, so here's going to be our last problem. Let's say that for a lottery ticket, you pick five numbers from 1 through 35. If you match exactly three numbers, you win $100. If you match four numbers, you win 10000 If you match all five numbers, you win a million. So find the probability of winning each prize. We're going to start with matching exactly three numbers. So what you have to think about here is I have five numbers that I have to pick from. And the idea of find the probability, think of just general probability is how many ways do I win divided by the total ways. Now to get my total, I have 35 numbers to pick from and I need to pick five of them. Now with the lottery, the order doesn't matter, so it would be a combination. So I need to do my 35C5, and when I do that, I get 324,632. So that's gonna be the total number of ways I could pick my tickets. Now what we have to think about, if we are trying to match exactly three, we have to think that our first one is a winner, our second one is a winner, our third one is a winner. Then we have to have two losers also. Now it doesn't actually matter the order that the losers or the winners come in, so I'm just letting the first three represent winners and the last two represent losers. So let's deal with this front part first. Because we need to figure out, well, how many different ways could we pick a winning hand? Now as far as winning number goes, there are only five winning numbers. So I have five winning numbers to pick from and I need three of them. And then since the order doesn't matter, it's a combination. So I need to do 5C3. Now the second one, the losing numbers. There's 30 losing numbers to pick from and I need two of those losing numbers. So what I need to do is I need to do my 5C3, which gives me 10 and I need to do my 30 C2, which gives me 435. Now, next thing you have to think about is, well, do I add these numbers? Or do I multiply these numbers? Do I subtract them? Well, the first thing you want to do is think of it in terms of words. I need to have three winners and two losers. And our general rules for probability when it's and is to multiply. So I need to multiply my 10 in my 435 and I get 4,350 ways to win. So now to find my probability, I take my 4,350, divide that by 324,632, and that's going to end up giving me my probability of winning. turns out to be 0 0.0134. Now in terms of percentages, if you wanted to have an idea of the percentage, that's like 1.3% chance. So I have a 1.3% chance of matching exactly three numbers and getting that $100. Okay, let's jump to the next one. Probability that you match exactly four numbers. So now, I need to have a win, a win, a win, and a win, and then my last ticket has to be a lose. So I'm still going to follow a similar process. I have to think about how many winning numbers do I have to pick from. Well, there's five winning numbers, and I need four of them. When I do that, I get five, so there's five different ways I could arrange that. And then my losers. There's still 30 losers to pick from, and I need to pick one of them. So when I do that combination, I get 30. And again, it's an and. I need to have four winners and one loser. So I need to take my five times my 30, and I get 150. So to match exactly four, I have 150 ways to do it out of 324,632. Divide that out, and I get 0 .00046. So I have a 0.046% chance of matching all four numbers. 
we can do the exact same thing with five. So this time I have to have all of them as winners. So I need to figure out how many ways can I pick them as winners. So I need to have 5C5 and that ends up giving me a one. There's only one way that I can pick all five winners. Well, I have one out of 324,632. When I do that, I end up getting a point zero 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 three one for my probability. So my percent chance would look like that. So each of these represents my chance of winning each particular prize. Exactly three, exactly four, and exactly five. Now when you're doing these types of problems you have to consider all five things. So when we did the three we had to have three winners and two losers. You have to make sure that you think about that piece of it because that can mess a lot of people up by only thinking about the winning but you also have to have two losers in order to have three winners. Same thing with the four. You had to have four winners and one loser because those do make a big difference.